What's up guys, so this is gonna be my quick to the point, uh, six things I hate about my 2019 uh, Laramie Longhorn Limited Ram 1500 with the 5.7 and the 3.92 gear ratio on the back. Anyway, I'm gonna get straight into it. Here you go, here's a little truck porn for you. All right, so first things first. These Rams, have the option for these uh, power side steps, okay? Great, they come out, they go back in. Here's the problem. I went up to uh, the north, uh, to North Dakota for maybe two weeks. Ice kept gathering on them and they would struggle to open and close every time I opened the door and then all of a sudden the motor seized. I come back down to the south in Texas and even after everything thaws, the motor is still seized up, it's broken, I'm gonna have to replace it. So these side step motors do not deal well with ice and elements. Now, if you get down here, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my camera on, I'm gonna try. Let's see here. This is the motor, okay? Now, I don't know if you saw how rusted it is, but if not, you might wanna rewind it. This is 2019, it's only a couple years old, and it's been down in Texas, all right? And that's a lot of rust on it. Now, the rust didn't cause the seizing, but I don't think that the, uh, the uh, body of that should have been made out of a rustable metal. Um, anyway, long story short, I'm gonna have to spend probably about 350 bucks on the motor if I do it myself, otherwise probably a thousand at the dealership. But if you are considering the sidestep option on these Rams, I would probably either consider just getting a fixed side step, or if you are gonna do a motorized one, you might wanna look at aftermarket because these ones, <clears throat> all right. Number two thing I hate about my Ram. Let's go inside, all right. If this was like a Cribs, this would be the part where they played some cool music, maybe I'd. Anyway, this is my, I got the Longhorn Laramie with the cool bean seats, the awesome steering wheel and all that business. All right, second thing, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for you. And I'm gonna roll these windows down, all right? Now, these power mirrors, have never, ever, ever been abused. And they have done this from the beginning. You push the button to close them if in case you're in a tight parking spot. All right, I'm gonna push it now. They will close just fine, okay? Not a problem. However, when you're ready to leave, you push the button again. Both of them, both of them. I'm gonna close it and open it one more time just so you can get a view of it. Closes just fine. Then when you go to open it. So you can hear, you can hear that the motor continues to turn after it's already in the full open position and it's like breaking a cog in there, all right? What really sucks is this should be recalled. Every single Ram owner that has this mirror, I'm guessing it's on the 19s, maybe they fixed it by 20, but on the 19s for sure. Uh, it sucks because I'm gonna have to carry the burden of replacing this someday, and it's nothing I abused. It's just poor engineering. It does it on both mirrors, so I hate that. Big, big mistake, Ram. All right, next thing, let me get my little list out here. All right, okay, CarPlay. So, Great 12 inch dash, love the car 12 inch dash. However, on the 2019, wireless CarPlay is not included, okay? It has wired CarPlay if you run a cable, but it didn't have wireless. I don't remember, I read somewhere that they resolved that in either 2021 or 22. If that's important, you might wanna check. However, I was able to resolve this problem with, da -da 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 -da. come on now. This, it's a wireless CarPlay bridge. It's made by, let's go ahead and flip it over. AutoCast, I got it on Amazon for about 70 bucks. 
you plug it in right down here. I'm not gonna plug it in because it'll kill the audio on my phone if I do, but what it does is it, it makes your phone behave the same as though there's a cord running from your phone into there, and then you have wireless CarPlay on your screen, which by the way is amazing. I don't think I could have a car without it anymore. I could, but I wouldn't want to. Um, all right, next thing on my list is hot steering wheel. Okay, so it's got all the comfort features. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the truck off now. I don't think I need it any, actually. Hot steering wheel, all right, so heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel, da 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 right? They did a little too good on the steering wheel. This heating steering wheel, and you can ask any Ram owner on this one on these fifth gen Rams, I've talked to different friends. The steering wheel gets so hot, so hot, that you can barely hold it. So, Ram maybe maybe did too good, I don't know what, but anyway, um, the trick that I've learned and everybody that I know has learned is you turn it on for maybe a minute and then when it starts to get warm, you turn it off because otherwise it's hard to hold on to. All right, next thing. Um, oh, this is a big one, this is a big one. So one day I went into the house and I know that I left the lights on in the truck. Well, I came out the next day, truck wouldn't start. So I put the battery on the trickle charger and it showed that it was full a short time later. Tried starting, no start. And man, I just did everything I could, checked fuses, stuff like that. No start at all. Well, take it in the dealership. Uh, they call me, they said, yep, we uh, we had to replace your uh, 48 volt battery. I said, what's that? They said, there's a battery behind your uh, rear seat. It's a 48 volt battery. So here's the problem, okay? Most cars, Modern cars, if you leave the lights on in the car, it'll shut them off after a period of time so, not, so as not to drain the battery. On this one, it does drain your battery. It doesn't stop sucking that juice out. I had additionally an even worse experience because uh, the salesperson, instead of calling me and saying, hey, your battery's dead, you want us to try charging it, they just replaced it. So I was a little angry about that. That is a dealership issue. That's a service issue. That's not RAM. But I am a little displeased that the 48 volt battery will drain to dead if you leave the interior lights on on this vehicle. All right, um, let's hear. That was thing number five. Sixth thing that I hate about my fifth gen Ram 1500. I'm gonna go ahead and turn her back on. And I'm gonna point up at the super cool sunroof. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right. All right, so up here. See that little crack right there? All right. This has never been abused. Nobody's nobody's come up here and pushed on it. That is a result of the wind. Now, it doesn't look like a big deal. I wouldn't care if it was just visual. But when you start going down the highway, that thing starts whistling like I've got a Oompa Loompa standing on the roof of my truck whistling the worst tune ever, and it's really annoying. Um, at some point, I'm probably going to use some Gorilla Glue or epoxy to get that thing glued in place, but the adhesive that they used... <laughs> so, um, this, is a, this is a little nuisance if you're a do-it-yourselfer. So I'll be able to fix this myself. It's not gonna bother me. But let's say that you bought this for, for grandma and she's driving this thing around. She's not gonna fix it. It's just gonna piss her off all the time. So, Rammy dropped the ball there. So, in summary, sidestep motor. First of all, the casing's made of a rustable material, probably just plain old iron. Um, and then on top of that, it's seized just from ice sitting on it. So there was no protective measures that they put in place to stop the motor from attempting to work if it's frozen up and it'll, it will damage the motor. The power mirrors keep going when they go to the open position, that'll eventually break something. No wireless car play, super hot steering wheel, uh, hidden 48 volt battery that does not disengage after a period of time if you leave your interior lights on so it will drain the battery and finally the adhesive that they used for the uh, moonroof sunroof whatever they call that um, just weak so that's my sixth thing um, be sure to smash that subscribe video if you want to see more of my ram videos about all kinds of things about this truck or if you just like quick and to the point videos uh, on how to do things. If you hit subscribe, you'll see my quick to the point videos in your feed whenever you search for something relevant. Have a good one.